Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we wrapped up another social link, this time with Keisuke, where he told us that he wanted to become a doctor, but not for his father's reasons, but for his own. We also met up with Mamoru for the first time in a while, and he's planning on trying to earn a scholarship to go to college by way of a regional meet that's coming up. And we wrapped up another request for Elizabeth by getting some wolf food for Koromaru. Today, we're going to do a little more social link business before we head off to Tartarus. And the teacher we have again for the second time this week happens to be at Okawa, my favorite teacher out of the entire faculty here at Gekko High. <laughs> Maybe it's because you don't know? Well, I frankly don't want to know because you always have so much to say, Mr. Edogawa. Okay, another seminar on practical magic. It's always magic with you, Edogawa. That's the only thing you know. Like, we're gonna be able to use this kind of knowledge in the real world. Why can't you just tell us to, or teach us to do something that's gonna be, I don't know, skill worthy, like learning taxes, or or learning how mortgages work, that sort of stuff. You know, stuff we need to survive. Unless somebody here wants to become like a fortune teller or a magician or something of the sort, this knowledge is useless. And now he's talking about yoga some more. He did bring this up from his last lecture, so it does kind of tie into this one, but still. Breathing, which works for energy. And he's talking a lot more about yoga now. <laughs> which I really don't care about that much. You know, instead of telling us about this, why don't you show us? As a matter of fact, if you were going to be lecturing us today, why don't we just have make this a class like a uh, yoga simulation class? Something like that. Where we could actually learn the techniques ourselves instead of you telling us about them. That would actually be pretty eventful and would make time go by much more quicker than you blabbering on about who knows what. Man, this looks a lot longer than I remember it being. <laughs> but this is coming from Edogawa though. We all know by now his lectures are so long. At least we have the option to doze off and skip the rest of this lecture altogether. <laughs> and we're back to being great condition. Not that we ever lost it, I think. We shouldn't have, actually. There you are. I've been looking for you. It's rare for you to miss a student council meeting. I take it someone asked you to find me? Well, yeah, even though I'm not a member. Sorry about that. They seem pretty busy with the class trip and all. I bet you have your hands full since it's both for juniors and seniors. Huh, the class trip, huh? Even if I went, I'd only spoil the fun. You're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that! You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Is that so? To tell you the truth, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I know what it's like to lose a father. Takeba. I decided that I should be more upfront with you from now on.
Ah, there she is. Hey there, ladies. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ryoji-kun. Why are you here? Huh? Same as you. I was trying to find Mitsuru-senpai. Some girl I've never met before asked me to look for her. What? I wasn't the only one she asked, either. She said if we don't find her, the class trip might get cancelled. Seems like the Vice President has the whole school looking for you. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Would you like to go out sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Uh-huh. Senpai, you better get back to the meeting. I... I suppose so. Takeba, thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Hey, she didn't answer my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! <laughs> okay, Ryoji, you had that one coming. Especially you mentioning Shirakawa Boulevard. Man, that's the callback if I ever heard one. He had that coming, though. Just on the merit that he was trying to hit on the girls, but him bringing up Shirakawa was just too far for Yukari. Is that not her style? Mitsuru-san seems like a, tra a tough nut to crack. Man, if only you knew what Mitsuru was really going through right now, Ryoji. But still, shame on you for trying to hit on two of my friends. For shame. You're lucky I can only move around, otherwise if there was a punch button, I would be punching you like five times by now, rapid fire like. Okay, so since it's Saturday today, I actually do want to hang out with Yukari. Maybe she might appreciate my company more than Ryoji's. It's nice to see that Yukari was the first one of us to go to Mitsuru in person and express concern about her state of mind. It would suck if she had to miss out on the on the upcoming trip or it would be cancelled all together because of her absence. So good on Yukari for stepping up and going to talk to Mitsuru. Now yeah, let's go somewhere. Back at Polonia Mall again. This is a reoccurring place for us with our social link with Yukari. Oh, I want to check out some piercings. Hey, Makoto kun, how about you pick one for me? You trust me with that? Sure. Pick something cute so that will look good on me. Maybe if something pink, if it's something, if it's something pink, then I might be able to choose that. Another phone call. I wonder who, who who could be. I have a feeling who it might be. Uh huh. What? You're not? You want me to forgive you? Wait, don't do that. Do what you want to do. But that's not what I meant. If that's what you want, then go ahead. I don't care, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is her mother speaking to her again. I see that her mother stood on 180 on Yukari. You want to get together and talk about it. 
Maybe Yukari's mom finally realized what's really important to her. And she's trying to go all out and try to convince Yukari here. Yukari hug up. I can tell by the look on your face, I know who that was. Yeah, I thought so. It was her. She apologized for everything that's happened. She said she won't get remarried until I forgive her. Can we sit for a while? Yeah, sure. Seems like something you need to mull over. She wants to see me, but I'm really nervous. Well, do you want to see her? I think that's the main question you have to ask yourself. Well, I'm not the one who asked to meet. I'm afraid it might get ugly. What if she smiled about that? We haven't seen, e seen each other almost 10 years? So it's not gonna be easy. I didn't think it was that long. Holy cow. I guess this, was ha this happened shortly after uh, Yukari's dad passed away. Yeah, I can believe that. Especially not seeing her for that long. I wonder who she was living with if she had to see her mom in almost, in almost a decade. Deep down inside, I think she still misses dad. It's hard to explain, but I realized this when you and I started going out with Kurokun. She couldn't handle it, losing someone so important to her. I can only imagine how you can process that. How you try to manage carrying something like that for the rest of your life. Everyone's got a way to cope with that kind of, uh, with that kind of event happening to them. And it's obvious Yukari's mom has not been coping with it the best, but it seems that she's finally realized what's really important to her, and how much she does cherish her daughter. Because of this surprising turn of events, we reach rank 8 in Yukari's social link, and the bond between us is growing stronger, as well as there's something special between us like it was described the last time. Now, let's go home. Shopping can wait. This is much more important. Man, I can only... I can only well, imagine... Where Yukari was after her dad passed away if she had seen her mother that long. I will join you at Tartars tonight. Hey, Mr. Rue. Are you really... Really ready for this? I apologize for worrying everyone. Our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I will do my best. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But, unfortunately, Amana and Korobar will have to stay here. Understandable. As much as I would love to take those two along, we gotta abide by school rules. So, Amana, Amana. <laughs> Ken, Koro, sorry. But, you'll gotta stay behind for the next few days. I suspect the trip is coming up this week, that's why I said that. Uh, are you excited about the trip, Yuki? Oh, am I? I sure am. Well, I hope it will be a memorable trip, and I hope it will lift your spirits, Mitsuru. Because I think you're the one that needs it the most. Did you know? Yukari-chan used to live in Kyoto. Ah, that's why she's so excited about it. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know either until I asked her directly. So she might not be happy that the school trip is to Kyoto. Uh, maybe that's why she didn't see her mother so long. She probably hasn't been to Kyoto that long either. Unfortunately, I can't go with you guys on the school trip. So please, bring me back a souvenir. Oh, and I prefer something other than a t-shirt or a keychain. Here they have really good Nama Yatsuhashi there. 
That was a really hard word to pronounce, but hey, this is a Japanese game after all, so I should expect to encounter a lot of Japanese words in this game. This anime, too. You should not be worried, but that doesn't mean I'm not worried. Yeah, me too, I can understand why you are worried. She says she's ready, but she just might be putting on a brave face for the rest of us. It's funny how everyone has these stereotypes of these places. Or, or of that place, rather. I went to see Chidori yesterday. Check this out. Every time she looked at my face, she got pissed. Ooh, that cannot have been a good meeting then. I thought about asking the nurse if something was up, but I'm sure the staff doesn't give a <laughs> doesn't give that much of a care. Just stop visiting her after that? No, don't give up. I'm sure she will love to see you. She's just got a lot on her mind right now. I'm famous for never knowing when to quit. I'm not sure that's a good or bad thing to be famous for. But if that's a trait that works to your advantage, then use that to go see Chidori again. I'm sure she will like your company sub someday soon. Just gotta have faith. I am unable to understand the significance of a trip. I thought it was simply an activity to experience. But it seems to be more complex than that. What do you obtain when you go on a trip? Uh, it's hard to explain, I guess. That is the biggest difference between us. I am always able to explain the motives of my actions. I wonder what happens when we do say memories, because that is what that you do take away from a trip. What do you benefit from gaining memories? It is very difficult. Okay, I guess that's a little hard for even I guess to... For even us to explain to I guess. Even though she has grown quite a bit over the last several months, I guess she hasn't grown that much to know the significance of a trip. I guess it's just one of those things that is very difficult to, uh, to, uh, explain. Let's check everyone's stats pretty quickly. Everyone's okay to go. I don't need to know, Fuka. I want to go to Tartarus, but first I gotta say before I make any other mistakes. Alright, Fuka, I'm ready for real this time. Let's head back to Tartarus. Be waiting at midnight as per usual. And we did hear from Elizabeth that a new section in Tartarus has opened up. So it's high time for us to go explore this new section of the labyrinth. Who do I want to bring though? That's the ultimate question. But first things first. I was going to cut away but I want to give the girls their respective maid outfits believe it or not. I didn't want to add you to the party but sir sorry. I don't want that for now. I just want to check your status. And... Um, give this to you. Even though it has... Uh, two less points in defense in terms of... Uh, well, in terms of defense. Let's give it to her to see what her expression is like. And she's in great condition too. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm? What's this for? Are you seriously asking me to wear this? Ah, uh, yeah, really serious, uh, Mitsuru. It's for battle, trust me, it does help out. Uh, are you sure this will help in battle? I want an explanation for this afterwards, trust me, it will. It will. Uh, it's hard It's hard to explain, but it will help out, trust me. Alright, Yukari. Let's see how you react when I give you your maid outfit. Oh man, I think I'll let this whole leader thing go to my head. But it is for a greater cause. I can't believe you're ordering me to wear this. You really let this whole leader thing go to your head, you know that? She completely read my mind. Fine, I'll wear it. Hope you're happy. I know you're happy too, Yukari. I know your secret about this maid outfit. Try to, not, to deny it all you want. I know you're a little stacked to wear that one more time. And as for Igus, 
Let's see how she reacts when I give her her bait outfit. A little less defense than it would with her arm and compound. But just for kicks, let's see how she reacts. These must be the clothes I wore before. They're very comfortable and easy to wear. Wait a second. Are you mean to tell me that Yukar, not Yukar, that I guess, when she used to be active and she wasn't only just here to to go after shadows, was she also doubling as a robotic maid? Okay then, uh, Mitsuru, I hope you know about this because that was a weird twist if I ever heard one. Wow, I completely forgot about that. But while we have that kind of information to digest, I think it's high time for us to select our party and go explore this new section. Man, Yukari was right. I have let this leader thing get to my head. So I decided to go with the obvious choices in the end with Mitsuru, Aikis, and Yukari all their main outfits. As we saw, their main outfits are 90 points each in terms of defense. We do have stronger equipment in terms of our overall defense, but I want to keep these three in their in these outfits for the time being. So we can just absorb the absurdity of of how ridiculous this the appearance of this team is. Also, I do have the scrub brush equipped from that one request we did for scrubbing out the bathroom back at Port Island Station, because when you do scrub the the dirt in the bathroom with this brush. It does give this brush more of a ability. I think it might poison some enemies. It might have low odds of doing that. Let's check the equip screen just to be sure about that. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, here it is. Looks like nothing's changed about it, but I'm pretty sure you can poison enemies now that we do have a little upgrade to this scrub brush now so i want to keep this on my hand for a while to see if that does really work out plus we haven't seen makoto use a two-headed weapon like a lance or spear much like what ken uses so that's the other reason why i'm keeping this on makoto as well at least for a little while in any case welcome ladies and gentlemen to the haraba block Enemies are different here too, as usual. Now, something unique about the Haraba block is the entire block itself is actually open to you outright. There are there are there are a total 50 floors to this block, so it is very feasible for us to just go right ahead and finish as much as we can with this block without any blockades while blocking us off. And since this is a new block, we do have new enemies to worry about, starting with these with these two, the Imprudent Mayas and the Kaiden Musha. Not too familiar about these enemies, to be very honest. So it's coming up to the analyzation to determine what they are all weak to. Okay, you've got some fire spells, and some buffing debuffing, debuffing, debuffing spells, jeez. Words, how do they work sometimes? But they're weak to electricity and ice, that's what I want to worry about the most. And that is right up in Suru's alley. She's gonna capitalize on their weaknesses, and she is in great condition too, despite where her mentality is right now. Because of the recent events that happened, for the full boot operation. So she's, she's doing more than just putting on a brave face. He's actually kicking butt here so far the horrible block. Sorry, Chippy. Yeah, we see Isis now in battle for the first time as well. We'll, add, we'll, 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 we'll analyze that. Uh, now I think I'll just simply strike this Maya. We'll wait for the analyzation for the kind of Musha. And you're weak to light. And like with all the other Mushas we faced before, you do, you do have some physical skills. 
I want to keep Cert out so I can level it up just enough so we can get that Ragnarok skill because I really, really want that skill so badly. I'll throw an Aki down out at you. I don't think you have any properties against fire. Yep, you don't, and that's why you died. <laughs> Man, that looks, that looks ridiculous. Me with a scrub brush of all things. But I do want to see if there's any additional effect to it. And we can't get this persona because it's out of our... of our level range. So that's why I couldn't pick up that persona at all. I think it's the first time I actually saw, I've actually shown that on screen, come to think of it. Okay, there's a small shadow there. I'm gonna get away from it. Good. Sometimes your party members can block you off from escaping when you're trying to make a quick exit away from an from a shadow like that. And it can end up costing you. Like the shadow can't get a first strike against you if one of your party members does block your path. We've actually seen this one before, the Scarlet Turret. The I didn't know there were reoccurring enemies here in the Harbor Block. I thought they were straight up done after Zaya. Okay, do I have any Zaya gems to my advantage? I do. This should take it down. Yes, it does. So like with Ken and Akihiko, because Yukari awakened to Isis, her quote in Tartars have changed as well. So she will say different things now that she has Isis as her persona. And she can also learn a ton of new skills, much like what happened to Akihiko and Ken. And a level 8 wand card. I think this is the first time we're seeing. Ah, crap, I should have gone for the first one. Oh well. There'll be more level, level 8 wand cards that'll come up anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, what was I saying? Um, this was the first time we're seeing like level 7 and level 8 cards in shuffle time now, if I'm correct. So, if you're looking to grind and you're a little behind on levels, then this will be the best place to do it since you have even better cards now than you did back at Zaya. And we have even more new foes. Oh man, one of each enemy is different here. The Mighty Beast and the... State Tower. Let's check the Mighty Beast first. I don't think I have any purifying rice against the Musha though. I haven't come across any purifying rice with some cursed paper in a long time, come to think of it. So I'll just have to beat it up the hard way then. And speaking of quotes changing, because I now have a spear type weapon with spear type. Weapons are pierce based, so as if you haven't guessed by now from all the times you've seen Ken in battle. As the Mighty Beast is also weak to uh, light. Because the. Because I'm holding a spear type weapon, my quotes will change as well. Because I have a different weapon class. You now we'll analyze the Apple State Tower. How much help do you all have? Okay, you, Mr. Mighty Beast, you're kind of strong, so I'm going to try to weaken you down. And one of the other party members can pick off that kind of Musha if they do desire, like what I guess did. Good job, I guess. You read my mind. And coincidentally enough, the Apple State Tower half his feet weak to fire. Probably should go for the Meraki Dine after all, then. But it is pretty weak. Huh? Poison this though. It did poison. Uh, it did poison it through. That's kind of appropriate, actually, given where her headspace is right now. <laughs> and did I slide like two feet to the left when I when I used my evoker? I was odd. Okay. I see a level six wand card. I think I'll go for that. I'm gonna keep my eye on those uh, sword cards as well because I might end up finding one of those. Rare items for for a past for a past block. Yes, Another news: Yukari increased. and I get both leveled up. Now, do I have the skill that can cure poison, though? Yes, it does. Soon, do you? There we go. I had a feeling I had that on hand. There's no shadow there, but I'm gonna advance up to the next floor. I 
come to think of it, uh, I I believe that the first guardian of the harbor block is actually not that far off from our current location. Uh. So we don't have to travel that far ahead in the horrible block in order to meet up with the first guardian pack. And something I should note as we continue to fight off enemies here is in Persona 3 Portable, it is 100% possible for you to go through the entire horrible block in one sitting. I have done that in the past because in Persona 3 Portable where you're going through Tartarus, your condition will not change until the day after you go into Tartarus. So say that if this was Persona 3 Portable, and I do get some indication from Fuka that my condition has changed, or well the party member's condition has changed, there condition state will not go into effect until we exit the dark hour and the day transitions into the following day which I believe in our case would be Sunday so it is entirely possible for you in portable to go through the entire block of Haraba in one go I think it's kind of record better you do that too so you can pretty much do that with any section in Tartarus if you're playing the portable version because of that one little difference in how the condition mechanic works in that version of the game and there's what Makoto's crit animation is like if you do use a spear weapon I've never actually seen that before because I don't use uh, spear weapons that much either it just feels like it's not balanced enough for me to uh, to actually use. Sure, it does have a long range, but I feel like the damage output isn't that good. I think this might be a new persona we got, Titania or Titania. I'm gonna say Titania because of how the word is pronounced back in Star Fox 64. What are you? Your lovers. I don't want to get rid of Saki Mitama though. That's a really good healing persona I want to keep for as long as I can. Uh, okay, who do we get rid of? Uh, what am I thinking? I'll get rid of one of, the, one of the personas I use for social links that I don't need anymore, like the Elagor. It's got Titania now. And speaking of ridiculous weapons with me and my scrub brush, I actually like to point out another small thing in Persona 3 Portable. I believe this is one of the early request items you can get in that version of the game. It's actually a giant freaking meat cleaver. I am not kidding. And the silly thing about that is, I believe it hovers somewhere near triple digits in terms of attack power. Or it is at triple digits in its attack strength. <laughs> That is one of the stronger weapons you could get early game in the portable version of Persona 3. It can take you quite a ways if you hold on to it and use it long enough. Speaking of it, Tsuru, she also leveled up for the first time in the Haraba block. Another new Persona in our possession, Hokuto Senkun. What are you? You have the Hierophant, so I don't want to get rid of Thought though. I want to check on Titania, or Titania, to see its skills. The Diorama Mind Charge. Looks like you could have been a really good Wind Persona. That's not bad. You got Sionga and Dodge Slash. I do remember you being an electric type. So that's how I remember the, uh, the Hokuto Sankun so well. What to get rid of? Uh, um, Fortuna. Since I completed Kate's case social link, don't need any more usage for that. And we level up to level 55. Okay then. It's very nice. Very nice. We're kind of getting a little uh, overpowered when it comes to finding those uh, those bosses now, but hopefully we'll find one that uh, will be kind of out of my level range because <laughs> I have been a little overpowered when it comes to find those 
find the uh, bosses as of late, or at least the ones in Tartarus, because I remember the last battle we had with a guardian in Tartarus, I was a couple levels stronger than it. I don't want that to be the case for too long, so I can give myself a little challenge, and so it could be entertaining for you guys to watch as well. And we have an update on where it is, and just as I thought, it was on the 171st floor. I did remember that the Guardian, the first one of the Harbor Block, wasn't that far away from us when we did start this uh, section of Tartarus. We got a battle Leotard, I wonder what that is, it's a rare item so it's gotta be good. Can't confirm, it is pretty good actually, a lot better than my maid outfits. Unfortunately it's for the females, but I'll definitely be using that once I am done showing off the maid outfits. Aha! Not long after I got that rare chest, I found a red shadow. It was actually the opposite direction of where the rare chest was. And this is needed for a Tartarus request. These are the ruinous idols. Give me a sec. I'll I the don't remember what they're weak to, uh, so I'm gonna use Moragidine and hope for the best. At the very least, I want to get some damage on them. And I figured that they would have some advantage against fire. I had a feeling. The enemy is, it has so you drain weaknesses. fire, but you're weak to light and... Uh, Ice by the looks of it. We got a lot of uh, dark spells though. And virus breath too. I'm not sure if we've seen if we have seen virus breath yet, actually. But if I'm correct, that raises the chance of everyone that raises the chances of everyone of getting inflicted by a status ailment. I hope that's what it is. I don't see it used too much in battle though. So that's why I'm not too familiar with it. Okay, since you all have dark, dark skills, I won't have to worry about switching out Surge since you don't have any uh, ice attacks, I believe, that will that knock you down. Got a crit on that ruinous idol, though. Was well, expected to go two for two, but they get some damage on that as well. Gotta hope we last long enough until Ms. turn comes around so she can use her ice spells to knock them down. I hope nobody dies in the process, too. Unfortunately, Ms. had to prioritize healing Yukari before going on the attack. Because instead, Yukari herself will go on the attack. They're we getting down pretty well, though. I think I give my team less credit than I that I should because I always, I always underestimate how well they're doing these kind of in these kind of fights. Okay, the homunculus saves me good. Got a little worried that I did run out of them for a split second. Did do it again? It's gonna work twice in a row, mister. I'm not weak to darkness. Good job, Itsuru. That great condition did help us out. Gonna knock that down to follow up. Seems to be pretty good for someone who's still not 100% in their mind. But she's holding up long enough and strong enough to tick on the shadows. That's good enough for me right now. As Yukari gains her next level up, I would like to go to the system menu pretty fast to check out the quests I've got. So, those ruinous idols have something called moon tablets, which I did collect too. From that last fight, uh, we can also look out for the rare shadows in the horrible block, uh, the luxury hands. Uh, but we'll need to chase down two of them this time to get two gold medals, so not the usual one. Finally, I found a new foe. These are the crazy twins. If I'm correct, it might have something to do with fire. If not that, I'm guessing light, light or dark might be their weakness. Nope, it's fire. I had a small feeling. The twins in this game are not that easy to to defeat. Or not that easy to uh, to struggle against. That's what I'm trying to say. They are pretty easy to defeat. And I get levels up once again. We had a difficult battle with uh, another red shadow, but... Uh, Mitsuru did level up, uh, and I did get the last 
moon tablet I needed for that request. So I already got one Tartarus request under my belt. And that was actually one of the one of the few requests in this latest expedition that I was pretty worried on collecting. So I'm very glad we got that out of the way as soon as possible. Yes, and one more level up for Yukari. Now I think would be a good time to talk about Yukari's awakened persona, Isis. So that name might sound a little familiar to you if you know about Egyptian mythology. Isis was an Egyptian goddess who was worshipped as the ideal mother and wife as well as the protector of the dead and goddess of children. Her parents were the god of the earth, Jeb, and the goddess of the overarching sky, Nut. It's said she blackmailed Ra, the sun god, out of his name by poisoning him with a snake and she was the only cure, it seemed. Later myths detailed that she had a brother named Osiris who became her husband and gave birth to Horus. Isis was responsible of resurrecting her husband when she discovered Seth killed him. After gathering Osiris' body parts scattered by Seth, her magic restored Osiris' body. There are three shadows in the middle. Careful. It didn't take that long for us to reach the first guardian floor of Haraba. We're only like five floors away between the guardians and the entrance to this section of Tartarus. So it wasn't that difficult to go to. But I feel like this video has gone on long enough what with this and the earlier social league business we took care of with Yukari. So we're going to stop things for today. Next time... We're gonna head back into Tartarus to take on the first pack of guardians that lie within the Haraba block. Until we meet again, farewell for now. Once again, I'm back in the lab, cleaning my knives, ready for stabs. I never committed a crime, I had to. Out of necessity, I don't crumble. I play guilty to Lord in the chapel. Forgiveness given, cause I don't look for trouble. This thing finds me, and what I do is fight back. Never look back the past, cause it hurts.